My sister and Lisa are here. How are you all doing? And how are you doing, Lisa? Doing good. Good. So anyways, um, the reason why I'm, my sister and I are deciding to do this tonight, because I visit her about two weeks ago. And um, as you also know that my sister and I have also been doing our clinical solution with Mary Kay Renization, and I, we've been taking photos of it. And then my sister and I were going to talk about what she uses with her skincare, because I know okay. you've been watching me do mine. Uh, myself in the evening on uh, Monday through Friday. Right now we're going on our sixth week or seventh week? I think we're in our seventh. In our seventh week. So that means this week, I believe we can do it three times a week. But I've been talking about the products I've been using. So I'm going to have my sister talk about the products that she's been using. And then after she discusses that, we're going to talk about some other topics. So Lisa, go ahead. Okay. Um, so... I just started doing a, a skin, um, is, it, is it a regimen, right? It's a, a regimen that can be used with a, any skincare line that you're using, you can add this to it. Okay, so first of all, the reason, the reason why I do a skin re, uh, regimen because um, I distribute um, Amway products, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm a distributor, mm -hmm. and I decided that I was going to um, try one of their, um, skin cleansing regimens. Okay. And it was a new product launch that they did. So mm -hmm. I got a chance to get a sample bottle, a sample um, program uh, set, and I started using it and I absolutely loved it. Okay. So, so since you brand new started, launch for them. Okay. So since you're just starting a regimen for people that have never used a skincare regimen, including men and women, what were you okay. using before, before like things that you would used to use before that you're using now? A hodgepodge of different things that I had collected over time, mm -hmm. including simply just using like bar soap, um, bar soap or any type of cleanser, literally any kind of cleanser I could find. Okay. And um, my moisturizer was a supermarket um, product, uh, oil of Olay. I think it was oil of Olay. Mm -hmm. I used that. And that was basically it. And then also uh, I put makeup on in the morning, you know? Okay. So you use anything that was random? I used random stuff, correct. So if it worked and if it didn't, you really didn't notice a difference because you're like, okay, if, my, if your skin didn't feel any difference or it just felt comfortable and you didn't see any difference, it didn't matter, right? And no, it really didn't make any difference to me, but I noticed over the years that my skin was aging mm -hmm. rapidly. What's that thing called? Creepy skin? Creepy skin, yes. Right. I started noticing creepy skin. The sagging was getting more and more prevalent. Right. Um, I was noticing um, bigger pores, larger pores, having to put on more makeup. Uh, I was noticing um, more dark circles and lines. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a very, very heavy, heavy, heavy frow. Right. Um, so that was, you know, I was like, ooh, that doesn't look very good. Um, I have the 11s that are deep. I have those too. I got them like right here. <laughs> yeah, but yours are not as bad. And I think it's because you've done, you've done some Botox, right? I have. I'm going to be honest. Yes, I have. I've done the lip fillers. The we Botox. haven't done anything lately. But None. We have in the past. And I think that that's kind of helped you out a little bit. Yeah. And I'll be honest with everybody. I think this is how I see things. Like, I don't think you're going to want to do Botox, right? You, you don't, that's not the route you want to go. No, that's really not what, something that I. Would want right. To do. Okay. So the honest thing is I am going to have some done in, in probably the next few months, but even if you have a Botox, even if you have fillers, your skin is still aging. So you still have to take care of the skin. Because when the Botox and fillers go away, everything goes away. And guess what? You've got your fine lines again. So I think that when people use a skin regimen like you, and you're using clinical solutions that reduces the fine lines, evens out the skin tone, refines the pores, it's better for you. It's better for me because you don't want to use a Botox. There's another alternatives that people can use if they don't want a Botox. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you can have it done, but you still have to use a skin regimen. So like they say, 
you can have that done and spend a thousand dollars, but if you're going to use soap on your face, that defeats the purpose. So you might as well get something used on your skin with the skin regimen that's for your skin type, and then you can have what you want to do. So I'm not against it because everyone's different in their lives, but you still need to have something at home to use. Yeah. So clinical solution is for that. So show us what you've been using. Okay, so I start with um, a really gentle hydrating cleanser mm -hmm. uh, by Artistry Skin Solutions, which is Amway's um, beauty line, okay? okay. Um, and it's a mousse cleaner, it's a pump, and it comes out like a little foamy mousse. Mm -hmm. It's really gentle on the skin. Mm -hmm. um, it's called a hydrating mousse cleaner and it has amino acids and um, shiso perilla, which are all herbal herbs, fresh herbs, <laughs> yeah. herbs. And I like this because it's gentle on my skin. Mm -hmm. And I think that it, it really um, adds a lot of uh, nutrients. I don't feel dry. It doesn't strip my skin like other products have done in the past. So I really like this. And is it for all skin types? Yeah, it's all skin types. I mean, you... You can buy other things, other yeah. items, but this is like the, this color bottle is the general one. Okay. So then I, I had, so I cleanse. Oh, most importantly, before I cleanse, I take away my makeup. And this is again, artistry. It's, um, it's a, I don't even know how to spell it. Micellar makeup remover and cleanser. Uh huh. And it has micellus and watermelon in it. And this is also really gentle on the skin. I take off, I remove the makeup and I remove the, um, the eye makeup with this. And so that's all together. I use my hands with my fingertips with mm -hmm. it. I put a little dab and then I massage it into the, um, eyelash area. Very, very, very gently. Yes. And it removes the mascara and okay. very, and it doesn't irritate my eyes or anything like that. And so I use that. What I do is I loosen it all up okay, and I jump into the shower and that's when I then do the pump mm -hmm. and rinse my, my skin. Okay. You know? um, then after that, when I come out of the shower, I love this. I love using a toner. Many, many years ago, when I had a little bit more money and finances and money, the dollar was going a lot, um, was stretching out a lot yeah. more. I was able to use a lot of Clinique. Right. One of Clinique's famous line, um, product lines is their toner. So this is a really nice toner that I use. This is all. This is part of that um, the artistry line, and it's a soothing, a smoothing toner. It has uh, probiotics and licorice in it. You don't wow. even smell the licorice in it, but it, you know, it just has like a, a product of, right. and it's really, really good. So I really like using this toner. So Made everything a big difference. So everything in those lines are botanical. Everything's botanical. Okay. I like that. I really do. And then after that, this is night. I, I put a very uh, small amount of um, Hydra V. That's okay. also my artistry. A refreshing eye gel cream. Okay. So I just put it on the eye and then I tap it in. I get a tiny little amount and I do like this really gently. I don't like rubbing things around. Right. I don't like that at all. It ir I think it irritates your skin and breaks the skin cells. And then at night, um, I use a, a hydrating gel cream. It's a night cream. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. It's very, very silky, smooth. You don't need a lot. And right. I give you like a little uh, spatula. Yeah, it's like a little spatula. You use that, you put it on your hand, and then you rub it on just gently. You don't, you don't need to rub things on your face. You right. Know? You just apply it onto your face, massage it in. That's really nice at night. There's nothing that irritates your eyes. Your skin doesn't feel like any, there are any chemicals on it. Right. So it's a real nice, smooth thing. So, and in the morning, I do the same thing all over again. Right. But instead of using the night cream, mm -hmm. I use an SPF um, moisturizer on my skin. And it's a balancing matte day lotion. 
and it offers an SPF 30 on it. Okay, that's like important. This. And this that's is also important. very gentle and you don't feel like I used to use um, over the counter stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and one of them I used to use a very popular brand and literally I would be like my sweat from my brow would mm -hmm. fall into my eyes mm -hmm. and literally I would like be burning my eyes would feel like there's chemicals in there so and that's that probably why you would stop using it because you didn't like the effect of your skin yeah and then you could taste it in your lips you know because you sweat right. and you could taste it all day so then you and I have started the clinical solutions with the retinol mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really like it. It's really good. Your photos look so good. I want to be honest with you, everyone. My sister's skin is com completely changed for the best. I mean, I see a difference. And if you see my, my videos, I always show my sister. And every time she sends me a picture after she's done with her clinical solution and with this, her skincare that she's using. And I started going back and her skin is getting better and better and better. The spots are less noticeable. It, it, your skin right now is even skin tone. I feel, I really see it. Even my husband said it, Greg said it, that your skin looks really good. But after our eight weeks renization, I'm going to show all the photos of you and I, but you still, we still have to continue. You got to go on, you got to move on. on. Because what happens is that well, I've been selling skincare since I was 24 years old. Right. I am going to be 61 in two weeks. My sister got married on my birthday in 2018. So yeah, when, my, when I celebrate my 61st birthday, my, my sister is celebrating what, your third anniversary. Yeah. So I have used everything under the sun everything and i think all products have something special about them mm -hmm. and they all work for different people and there's people and there's a lot of people say okay i've, I've used clake now i'm going to use lauder okay i've used lauder i'm going to use lancome but you know what their skin's not on the ground their, their yeah. skin looks good and no matter what you're using clinical solutions can be used added to your skin regimen but what's nice about right now that my sister showed what she uses and maybe somebody out there saying you know what I want to try that artistry you know I'm using whatever you're using right now I'll put my sister's information on the bottom and you guys can look up to see what they but they carry because they also carry a lot of things I use their laundry detergents I love their laundry detergents and and yours I never thought about uh Amway I just you never did, I huh? did it because I just wanted to have some fun with it right? and just see what it was like. And right. I became a consumer of it first uh -huh. and realized that I really liked the product line. Okay. And then I decided, you know what? I really wanted to see if other people wanted to try it. Uh -huh. So I started distributing it. I have and a good question. That's kind of like what I've been casually focusing on but mm -hmm. you know I, i'm not aggressively pursuing that as a career right so. well i have a question now now that we're in a subject and you know this is this is a very good for people out there that want to know about the pros and cons about being an independent consultant for a home good uh, i call them home goods how do you feel? And we're going to, cause I do Mary Kay. I, I don't push the, the recruiting and all that. If somebody wants to purchase the products mm -hmm. on my on, I do my online because I, re, since with COVID people weren't going to people's homes, but what do you think Lisa, that people, cause there's pros and cons. You see a lot of negative on YouTube, you know, about, all all of them all the different ones <laughs> and then you see the the positives you don't see how do you that feel that as a you don't see that, that positives on youtube that's unfortunate it's, it, it, you see more negatives right you see a lot of negative right stuff. yeah what can you tell others about the business uh, even if it's amway or not how do you feel about the business what do you think about it? for well, other people I, I that are thinking of getting in something like that. 
Yeah, I think that you need to do a lot of research before you get into it and ask a lot of questions to whoever it is you're going to be signing up under. Right. Because the only way that you can become a distributor is if you have a sponsor, somebody in your, somebody with whom you um, signed up under, they call that a sponsor. Right. I don't know. That's how Amway calls it. Um, and yeah. you, you just kind of like have to go in without any, personally speaking, zero expectation. I agree. <laughs> zero. I agree learn the product, believe in the product, um, enjoy them, you know, use them. Yes. Yeah. Well, you have to know how to sell it. Exactly. And talk about it. Right. I think that's some of the drawbacks that people get turned off about regarding being a distributor. And this is the thing, this is what kind of turns me off a little bit. Okay. You become an IBO, independent business owner. It's great, right? And all of a sudden, everybody wants you to start recruiting. You need to have recruit. Mm -hmm. oh, hang on, hang on, hang on a second, okay? I haven't learned the product yet. I'm learning. I have a few products that I really like, okay? But how do you expect me to go out and recruit? You know, I should learn to, this is my opinion, I should learn to market and sell the product line, read all the catalogs that there is and have some training about the product that I'm selling. And right. Amway has a great website where they offer that type of training, you know, mm -hmm. and you do it yourself. Now, that, that's important and recruiting is important, but there should be, just like when you have an employer, you have a 90 day period to try this or hang on the dogs just say no um have like a 90 day period <laughs> that's okay <laughs> that's sage say hi sage <laughs> have a 90 day period uh -huh. you know where you're doing the training where you're doing the promoting of the product line and you're doing you're getting comfortable with it and if you, you know, if you have success or you feel like, you know, if you're ready to start recruiting, go ahead and, do, and learn how to recruit, learn how to drop the damn message, you know, and learn how to be a leader and learn yeah. how to train other people. So they're successful. Yeah. I don't know. It's, no, no, you're saying all the right things. There's probably, you know, it's nothing, you're not saying anything wrong because you see a lot of negative on it and there are there's a lot of good things about, about them. You know, some, some people do very well in, in a home-based business. There's a lot of people have been very successful. And I feel like you have to have it in your heart. And I like the Mary Kay skincare. I've been very happy with it. I've always, like I've said before, I've dabbled in it many, many times. I was a, be a beauty consultant for Mary Kay when I was in my 20s and then got out of it, and then did it, and then got out. And, and let me ask you, why did you do that? Because you had uplines who didn't give you proper, proper training. training. And, and I'm gonna be very, very honest. I may not want to recruit, I may not want the business, and I do enjoy my discount, you know, that I don't have to spend retail for myself. But if they would have told me, Cynthia, usually people call me Cindy, but Cynthia, if you don't want to do that, it's okay. But you can still be a beauty consultant, independent consultant. And at that time, I don't remember how much it was. I think you got to buy $600 worth of products, but it's $300 in cost. So it's $600 in retail. $300 in cost because once you hit the 600 it drops it's 50% off if you don't want to do this then you only have to do it once a year I would have stayed <laughs> and if I would have stayed in it maybe I would have talked to people more and probably would have been a director by now yeah so yeah. if people are honest with you because I'm very honest 
I tell people, if you want to, if you want to do it, the opportunity is there. If you don't want to, don't worry about it. You don't have to, you can do it for personal reasons. So a lot of people don't realize and what happened, go ahead. Were you going to say something? <laughs> say just playing with the, with the squeaky toy. What happened when the pandemic happened? You can stay. You just have to pay $225 a year. <laughs> and people are like, so be honest with your bottom line. That's all That's all people want. Yeah, so the downline. Yeah. The downline, yeah. Maybe, and I, see, you can tell that I don't really talk about that because I have other things in my life that I want to do. So Mary Kay to me is a wonderful line. The performance is great. The people are great. It was a wonderful woman that started the business. She had a lot of exciting dreams. She accomplished them. It's for the women, women of today. But not everybody is going to do the business part. Not everyone's going to do that. But what's nice about it, that you can do it for personal reasons. And if somebody wants to do it, you, you can give them the opportunity to do it. Yeah. You take it when you want to take it. actively recruiting people. Yeah, I'm to actively recruit. Right. They, they do that. That's what their their goal is. Right. And for me, you know, I'm I want to want to help other people, and I'm not pushing to help other people. It's very funny. Like I'm at work, and somebody's going, "Oh, my knee's really aching me." Blah blah blah. Or I have to go see mm -hmm. the doctor, and then I'll give them samples of products that Am Amway, you know, mm -hmm. their excess um, CBD product. I'll say, "Here, try this." guess what? I get a sale. And guess what? I'm a, I appreciate all those little things down the line because yeah. I was able to help somebody. Yeah. Yeah. And I, you know that I believe in the product and I've seen really good results, whether it right. be kitchen, cleaning, um, soaps, mm -hmm. you know, I have, um, last year, you know, there's a lot of mosquitoes here in California. There's a lot of mosquitoes everywhere, but there's yes. that really that black mosquito that everybody's driving everybody nuts. You, it yes. bite, eats, bites you at night in the bottom of your legs and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I've been using the soaps from Amway, the bar soap. Mm -hmm. And there's, a, I think there's a little bit of centronella in it. There's some type of centronella in it. Very, very small amount, small traces. Mm -hmm. I haven't had one mosquito bite also. Really? Yeah. And also too, I sold hair care products and if it has any tea tree oil, it helps control the bugs from biting mm -hmm. you too. And it's an, it's an antibacterial. So it, it cleanses it and heals it quickly. And I was taught that with, with Paul Mitchell, by the tea tree shampoo. That's true. Isn't that great? So I just wanted people to know that I love what I love my skincare line. I'm very happy with it. Um, I love the concept of Mary Kay. You love the concept of M way people may have, people may love air bond. I mean, there's so many, different types of home-based products and we are not here to talk down about it because I still use it I am not here to do that I think all the women all your people women and men including Mary Kate including all home-based they're all good and they got a good heart just some people are in the business part and that's okay. That's okay for them because they have, they probably have to be. Absolutely. You know, I, my upline, the people that recruited me and I work with, they're really good people. Like I have nothing negative to say about them. I don't either. All the way up to um, like, we have some people like I'm one degree away from my, my upline. I think they're double Eagles and mm -hmm. then their upline is a diamond. They're like, mm -hmm. they're up there. Right. So it's, yeah, really not that. they just keep moving on up and the they're <laughs> like really, they're, oh, they're just good people. They have the best intentions. Yes. And you have to go in with zero expectations. Exactly. And seriously, no pressure. I am not the best one. Like I don't show up to board plan, <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I don't like send my ditto out every month. <laughs> and guess what? They don't like call me on it, you know. I'm they're yeah. they're okay. You're like you know what you have your own journey in life. Maybe you have personal things you need to take care of. Exactly. And they're they, they're all they're not like you know what are you doing? Where's right. nothing of that nature? Because I've I've heard those shows that they mm -hmm. post on YouTube 
all those people. And I understand that they may have had a bad experience and they want to warn other people. I understand that, not a problem, but I have yet to experiencing anything like that. Exactly. And I've never experienced anything bad. I just, just tell me that I was able to stay in it. That's all I wanted. And maybe the, the communication didn't happen and that's fine. But you know what? I actually, every time I met a Mary Kay consultant, I was like, oh, do you still carry this? Do you still carry that? Because there were still things I liked about it. But, but everything has changed since when I started, you know, when I first started and things just got better. But the technology and on everything has gotten better. So I'm very happy with it. As you know, I'm still a beauty advisor <laughs> in a department store and right. I use their products too. You know what I mean? I've sold hair care. I've sold, Dermal you know, Dermalogica. I've sold, Derm I've sold everything. And you know what? Yeah. They're all good. They're all good. Estee Lauder, all of it. It's what you want to use. That's what I tell everybody. What would you like to use today? I want to try this. Okay, let's, let's go there. So I'm very happy. I've had the chance to try them all. I've used a beta. I've used a beta skincare. I've used many and I don't have a bad thing to say about anything. And mm -hmm. I've learned that never talk bad about any line because you never know you're going to sell it. And I learned that when I was in retail, which I'm still in retail, but I learned that because they said that, how do you not know that you're going to sell that line? You're going to get a promotion with that line. Don't talk bad about it because it always comes back to you. I don't talk bad about anything mm -hmm. and I won't. That's why I said what do you think about the home-based business? And you and I both saying, go in with an open, open mind, use your products, love your products. If it's personal or business, just have fun. And just have fun with it. If you're not having fun, then I think you need to start thinking a different way. Right. And plus, you know, hey, once a year, you get to go to a convention in Vegas, yeah. you know, people hang out. You don't have to have that big status place, but it's like, you know, it's like, hey, it's like a family reunion. What's yeah. going on? You know, and you're in Vegas. Exactly. And guess what? That's a testimony. And that makes you feel like a winner <laughs> just by doing that. When I'm 70, I'm going to be like, I'm getting on, driving down to Vegas, hanging out with some people that I know. <laughs> Hopefully when I'm 80, it's like I'm going to Vegas <laughs> for the Amway convention. <laughs> you know your buttons <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be high, right <laughs> when I use hat you know I was like oh. imagine your hat with all the buttons I'd be here <laughs> so fun. oh god it's so true though you know <laughs> <laughs> because i've seen it all it's, it's fun right you have a good time the young ones are out there. <laughs> Do you <laughs> confetti time <laughs> you can't take it that serious just have fun oh my god right at 85 will be like going driving to vegas you know Or whatever that convention is, <laughs> maybe Walt oh. Disney World or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they're everywhere. <laughs> what they're like? <laughs> Here they are. Here's a hotel waiting for us. <laughs> God. Oh God, it's so true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they make so much money. It is party night. Here they are. The Oh my god! I yeah, and they I hear they have some like great lavish parties. Oh yeah, they put on a nice spread, go to the Oscars, and the music and the entertainment it's true. and the, the hors d'oeuvre. I hear it's like a lot of fun because it's their moment. It's called a moment. It's like yeah, it doesn't matter if you got one recruiter. It doesn't matter you get a zero recruiter because guess what? You may have sales and may brought your personal attitude up and may brought you being an introvert to an, out an extrovert, <laughs> an extrovert. Right? Yeah. and you need to like <laughs> <laughs> hang out at the hotel lobby yeah sunday <laughs> yeah have those are positives though <laughs>
<laughs> like that's a good thing to say. <laughs> that was perfect. See you guys. It's all good. It's all good. It's all be perspective, negative. man. It's like you gotta have fun with it. <sighs> you know why? Why bring something down when it could, when you can have fun? You know when you can have fun. I and like I'm one of those persons where I don't care if I'm sitting up front. I don't care if I'm all the way to the back. <laughs> I'm just here. When are we going to go to the casino? Exactly. <laughs> Where's the food? <laughs> There's the show. You know, everybody's all, Wah! And I'm running out to the floor to get some more dirt. Then you got your dancing. <laughs> Where's the free alcohol? Where's my free bags? <laughs> I'll go home with some swag in my bags. Where's my swag? I'm going. Oh god, I better not drink anymore. <laughs> right, the pins, the paper pads, <laughs> your notebooks, the car magnets, <laughs> the t-shirts. Is it free? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and you know what? They want you to have fun. <laughs> they want you to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> so That's it's, funny. Like, it's so true. It's so great. If you guys are having a really bad year, <laughs> go have fun. <laughs> Everybody, it's like all the money you put in. Like I'm a winner this week. <laughs> all the samples. Like, it, did you ever hear about that? Did I ever hear about when what? I first met? We went to the Natural Food Expo in Anaheim. You, you mean you and Lance? Not, I didn't go. We went to the Natural Food Expo because I was in the food industry. Oh. We went <laughs> to the Natural Food convention. Expo. Cynthia, we went for two days. We almost filled up our truck. <laughs> Here, 10 of those, put them in there. We walked <laughs> out with bags. <laughs> And you should have seen Lance. He was so excited. He was like, okay, get that thing. <laughs> They're closing. Bring the bag. He started. He's just stuffing him. And, what, and you guys used him, huh? I mean, it lasted you for how long? And he got all the stuff and he took it over to the car and he just put everything in the car and he turned around. And went, it was <laughs> Christmas in the month of March. <laughs> <laughs> and by the time we got back they had a lot of stuff outside the guys every time you walked into they would give you like a, a bag and inside the right. bag you had a bunch of samples and they were you know just the cloth shopping bags you use when you go to mm -hmm. we walked out with cases because <laughs> they didn't have they What are we going to do with this? I think your internet's not working on my part. Way or whatever. Are you there? You there? I'm I think here. I lost you. Okay, I think I lost you. My internet. All of a sudden, you were going this. <laughs> my internet so see everyone anyways I don't know if I introduced myself but and I probably did but I'm Cindy and my, and my YouTube channel is called Cindy Lifestyle and More and this is why we talk about I talk about everything under the sun and now I got my sister on coming aboard and, and talking about different things because I didn't want to be just one thing to talk about and you know, we talk about a little bit about a beauty. We're going to talk about a little bit right now about home base. We went to Long Beach, went to a food drive for, for the first time. 
So we're learning different things, but we're bringing different things to the table. Mm -hmm. Got a pixie haircut. Yeah, it's all that. Look at the gray. It's coming through good. Looks good though. Everybody says it looks good. It's, su it's a super cuts haircut, $10. $10. Had a sale. Was it a one day sale? <laughs> right on a Friday. Friday, day, a Friday sale. <laughs> looks cute. I like it. It looks really cute. So I, I, I had one color my hair and it got a little dark. But that's okay. I needed to fill it in. And then I'm going to put a little bit of highlights back in. And because it was like getting, you know, when you're, we're naturally dark hair, we're Hispanic. So when I use light, it starts getting yellow. I use my violets, but it's still, it loses pigment. So I needed to get it back in and it soaked it up. It was like <laughs> the color and you could feel it silky, you know? So, yeah. And I know that I sold hair business and I know that it needed it, you know? So it looks, it looks so much better. <laughs> I'm happy because I'm trying to grow it out. Try to grow it out, not using my extensions anymore. So you had a good week, huh? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Now we're starting Monday, so we're back yeah. at it. Yeah. And I also said the last time we had this, um, we talked about when you got engaged and Lance um, asked you to marry him at Disneyland. I got a photo of that, I think. And I think I found the photo of um, Sage when you got him as a puppy. And I, the photo that we had the first time that I showed you and the family, it was when you got married. Oh, yeah. I got that. I showed that. Oh, and the next thing I want to tell everybody, I think the next one, it'll probably be in a couple of weeks because Greg and I are going to be at the uh, Dodger Stadium to see the Angels game in Universal Studios. I thought you had to do slants and talk about what he does and maybe uh, it would help other people. So tell them a little bit about Lance. So they know that the next time we talk, what it'd be about to so just kind of give them an introduction, what it would be. Well, Lance is an addictions counselor um, for a prestigious, um, prestigious treatment center mm -hmm. with people, helps people with addictions. Uh, and I'll let him speak about that. Yeah, that's fine. And I just wanted them to know. Yeah. Yeah. And he's been doing that for a number of years, but he's also a coach. Okay. He helps people with aftercare. Mm -hmm. and he coaches them, um, helps them live a better life living outside of the rehab center. Okay. It's kind of hard when you do recovery. And then when you leave, you go back home and look at you're in the same place all over. Right. Again. So he helps them transition okay. their life into regular normal you know, life. okay so i want everyone to know that their next our next topic is going to be about that yeah okay. yeah i'm going to have you introduce him um and you guys are going to sit there together and then um <laughs> excuse me i mean having you know what i've been having a little bit of a cough and i don't know if it's allergies but i had like stress headaches going across and i noticed like my glands are a little swollen and I started like um, sneezing a lot. I said, I think it's the allergies, the pollen and everything. Oh yeah. I had my COVID test. I'm fine with that. Not going oh, <laughs> on my head, <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, I had my vaccination. <clears throat> it's but, so funny if people all across the country, you know, the, the way things are different around the country here in California, you know, it's like, just getting a COVID test is like, I don't know how it is in the rest of the country, but you know, you just get your COVID test, you know. Right. Life. Have you ever had a COVID test? I had two. I had two. Yeah, I've had one. It was in um, Calabasas. It went up my nose. This is before I got vaccinated. 15 okay. minutes. You're negative. You're fine. You know what I mean? So that's good. Mine yeah, was like three days. I would wait for three days. Well, I paid 125 for it. So, and it was for a commercial. I was going to, I was on standby available for a commercial so I, they needed to know if i was okay but now they want to see your cards and stuff like that so i've been vaccinated but doesn't you still can catch a cold you can still get laryngitis you can still get the flu you can still get allergies so that's not changing at all so anyways uh i think we had a good topic today oh tip of the day Show me your tip of the day. What do you have, Lisa? 
a uh, couple uh, things. Well, we were going to talk also about the time the travel share. Yes, thank you for reminding me. Okay, so I had a problem the first time we did the um, podcast. What we're uh-huh. doing right now is there was a lot of light coming through, right? Like these windows because mm-hmm. I just have like regular blinds, right? So what I did is to cut that light. I added a paper shear got it at home depot for like six or seven dollars okay all it is it's a paper blind it's black you can get them in different colors Mm -hmm. but it's black and so i just put it in the back i could take it off when i'm not doing this and it cuts the outside light so you don't have all that glare coming from the outside right and it's helped and i can see all the colors a lot better when you're talking because it's right yeah and it keeps the inside cooler right it keeps the heat out right this shirt it makes my look at it makes me look like really big on top i'm not gonna wear this shirt anymore did you get that from that thing that you're doing called threads or something or did you get Uh, it uh stitch fix no okay but you know what i should have done is i should have just tucked it in the back Cause I don't know if you notice, it just gets like all clumpy and everything. So you, you feel like it's sticking to you. Yeah. Yeah. And I just feel like it doesn't shape very well. So it's, see if we tuck it back a little bit, mm-hmm. right. It looks better, right. It looks more tailored. Right. But I mean, you feel like it's too big probably. Maybe it's too big. It is. It's not fitted. Right. And, but the color's good. Yeah. The color's good and it's comfortable, but I just, yeah. Uh, yeah, I keep tugging on it and stuff. So I won't so, be wearing it again. I, I don't know. The color's good, but I didn't know. <laughs> so my sister Lisa also and her and her husband own the timeshare. So give the next time we can talk about, well, go ahead and talk about it. Talk about well, the positive and the negative. It's not a timeshare. Oh, it's it, not. It's a vacation club. So there's a difference. Okay. So a timeshare is usually where you, you buy into a piece of real estate, right? A portion mm-hmm. of like a real estate. Yeah. And it's like a multi, like a, a hotel style thing, right? Right. And then you say, I'm going to go there every year to that same place, right? Um, I'm going to go every year at June or I'm going to go every other year at June, whatever. Okay. And you can also trade in that timeshare to go travel other places, right? Okay. Well, this is different. This is called a vacation club. Now, there's def- different types of vacation clubs through um, hospitality companies like Hyatt, Marriott, Wyndham, and of course, Disney's vacation club. Okay. You buy a block of points. And you could use those block points that you buy and you could go to different destinations around the world at these hotel, you, whatever hotel you buy them into, mm-hmm. right? Or Disney Vacation Club. You go to their resorts and um, you trade in those points for time at these different resorts. So we have a vacation club also called a travel share with Wyndham. And we really like it. It works out really good. We go to different places throughout California. We've gone to Arizona. Um, we have Hawaii scheduled. And we've been to Bali. Okay. Um, with Wyndham. And with their timeshare. So we've been all over places around the world. And right. basically you get a block of points every year. And then they'll say, okay, Bali for a week is, let's say, seven, 8,000 points for one bedroom. And then you just use those points, <clears throat> put them into that one week stay at Bali. And, you know, you have like maybe 10 more thousand points to use over the year. And then every year you re-up with the points and then you can bank and you can borrow, you can do all kinds of stuff. So we really like it. Okay. And it's a nice combination. You get, you get, you can book a one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom. Mm-hmm. You have a full kitchen. Mm-hmm. You have a living room. Um, some of them have two, one, one bathroom, two bathroom. Might even go as high as three. 
Okay. And you get a wash and dry. Not bad, right? You've been Not to bad at all. I've been to the one in Anaheim. Our, my daughter Megan went to the one in Anaheim. And she, she was very happy with it. They had a pool. They had a jacuzzi. They had barbecue pits outside. It looks like a condo. Like a little condo. And like it, it, it was really car. nice. Yeah. But they there's another one that gets the good and the bad. They get... Are you talking about less the stuff you hear about on the um, YouTube? Yeah. yeah, I know it's it's you know unfortunately I think a lot of people have a bad experience or you know something didn't work out, but that doesn't mean that it's not good for someone else. You know, and, and they, it's so sad. Their expectations once again. <laughs> I've heard people go, "Oh, I try to book a certain place." at a certain time of the year and I never get it. Well, you know right. what? Just take what you can. Right. You know? I mean, if if you can't get Hawaii in April every single year and when you, whenever you want it, well, how mm -hmm. about trying another month? Try something else. Yes. Right. Just try something else. You can do that. That's what's nice about it. Where do you want to go? Okay, we can't go here today, but we'll go somewhere. I mean, you can always do it later, but they don't. Well, you made a good value point. Right. My, my sister and I were going to Windsor, right? We're going to Windsor. So we'll take photos. Well, no, we'll take a video. What am I thinking? We'll do the YouTube video. When we go there, you'll see where we go. And then you'll see where she, where um, the hotel. You built it. a three bedroom. Yeah. What was nice about it is that when Megan went and when I went, Greg and I, they were very nice, the front desk. Even if we were not the people that own the, the what is it called? Not timeshare. It is. It's a vacation club. Vacation right? club. They were very sincere, helpful, very polite, cur courteous. Um, very. Um, what can I help you with? Because they want you to be happy, and they want. I was your guest. They want me to be happy because I'm your guest. At the same time, I'm their guest. So Megan had. Nothing bad to say. There was nobody okay. had a bad day. Nobody had a bad week. Everything worked out. <laughs> and what's nice about the Anaheim, the the Wyndham or the Worldmark in Anaheim, the Worldmark uh -huh. Wyndham, that's the name of the vacation club. Right. right. Is you said right downstairs are all the restaurants, Cheesecake Factory. Right. Disneyland's right there. I mean, you walk yeah. out, you walk out, and you make it right at the corner. I can see from my window, I can see the Angel Stadium. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I know Disneyland's over there. It was right there. So I walked out, didn't even really notice it until we were walking because we had to go to Walgreens. And this is during the pandemic, so Disneyland was closed. But anyways, we walked out, made a right. I'm like, wait a minute here. We're near Disneyland. And there's all the major restaurants walking right down. I mean, boom, boom, theaters, shops. I mean... It was a tourist area right there. We go to the corner, there's Disneyland. And it was so nice because it wasn't, we could walk it to Disneyland. We, the, all the restaurants was there. Walgreens was there. I mean, everything that was at my feet. Yes. Yeah. If we need to go to the store, it was there. The grocery store was there. Everything was there. So, yeah, I think they put their places and areas where people can go and get what they need for personal use or the angel game was over there. I mean, everything was right there. Right. You know, even Megan went to um, the Pachinga twice, Pachinga and um, turned to Pachinga. I know by Riverside. She went there twice. It was what, 45 minutes. Easy. Get on the 91 freeway. Boom. And their world work is building their brand new, Resort in Temecula. Temecula that's it. Temecula. Mm -hmm. in Temecula. They have like three or four in Palm Springs. Mm -hmm. I'd like to go to the one in India, but they right. have like three or four in Palm Springs. One of them is the India. Right. Huge. Really. And down the street from the casino. Let me oh, hold on. I got a little whining dog. Hold on. Oh, I guess not. Okay, I'll just leave it kind of open. Oh, there she is. Um, yeah, I was like, that's nice to know because what's it called again where Pachinga's at? What is it? What's this town? Temecula. Temecula. 
Yeah, that's going to be nice because Greg Greg loves going to Pachinga because he works at Chumash. And then when he goes somewhere else, he feels more relaxed because he doesn't work there. So it's that's good. And that's yeah. a nice Pachanga's really nice. Yeah, it's nice. You remember I told you my story when I used to go to those casinos when they were trailers? No. I used to, back in the 90s, drive out there when they were, they, I mean, the reservations. Well, yeah. But back in the day when Morongo was trailers. And you'd walk in and they were low ceilings. I mean, they were, and they had like very dark lighting and the um the but they didn't have a buffet nothing like that right it's it's a they trailer had a, they had a hamburger stand you walk mm -hmm. up to the concession stand and you get like a coffee or a hamburger and the right. little ladies come around and give you some coffee and and they had different you have to go from one trailer into another trailer mm -hmm. and those were like casino rooms and they had cards and stuff literally you have to step up into the trailers and it was like that there and it was like that over at morongo morongo was trailers and then all of a sudden you know they started getting um growing right yeah and it's all oh, these big fantastic beautiful casinos started popping. it's amazing isn't it and then you go now and you can't even think and imagine that one time ago the little trailer i mean we can't, you can't even think of that that's how Chumash started. They started a little concrete, like a concrete building. The parking lot had holes in it. It was like half holes, parking lot, half hole dirt. Uh, yeah. Was that even, there was not even sections to, to park. It was just park. And you go in and you step down. They had like a sandwich shop, coffee. It was dark, very dark. It's huge. I mean, now it's just huge. It's amazing. Yeah. And, and now they're just beautiful. Like those old, um, we used to play Buffalo. Buffalo or some type of, and there was just like a big, like a whole room of like Buffalo slot machines. Right. The little Buffalo yeah. that runs. Buffalo slot machines yeah. back in the 90s. God. And it was just like the whole room would just be Buffalo slot machines. It wasn't like now where you walk in and they've got um, Wheel of Fortune. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I dream a genie, bewitch. They have all different. They got what, what do you call it? Um, um, oh God, there's so many of them, and there's even new ones that I can't even think of. I mean, they're oh, just 3D. We watch a guy on YouTube, he plays slot machines, he goes to the Indian casinos, mm -hmm. and we watch him now. You guys probably watch him too. And is it like, Potsy? huh? Is it Potsy? No, he plays the casino game. Oh, he plays. And we want, we love to watch him. We watch him Saturday night. <laughs> I, you know what? I, Greg watches, my husband watches him and, and my he daughter. Is, this guy. Yeah. I go in, I spend $20. I'm like, shoot, I lost 20. <laughs> Darn it. I lost $20. <laughs> Megan, she goes in and that girl wins my daughter. I mean, tournaments go too, right? They don't have, they don't have them anymore. They used to have on Friday nights. I don't know if they have them throughout the year because I don't keep up with it because I only go once in a while. But they used to have slot tournaments every Friday night. They don't have it anymore. So uh, I don't know if they're going to come back, but maybe they will. But they used to. Yeah. But I think they're just magnificent. I mean, they're beautiful. It's like mini Vegas. You know, it's, it would be nice if we just had a strand of them. <laughs> And go to different well, they ways. do though, but you do have to drive a little bit. Okay, so That's true. you know that if you're at Pachanga and you take that road that's outside of Pachanga, you just keep going around the bend, you end up at another casino, and then you end up at another casino on that street. Yeah. And you keep going up that road, so you go to Pachanga, you know how you make a right into Pachanga to go into, but Pach yeah, you keep going, and it'll take you around like a highway. Okay. You travel and it'll take you up to like three or literally three or four other casinos. Now, if you go down the 15 on the other side, going to Palm Springs, right? You just keep going, casino, 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 casino. Oh, I didn't know that. So I haven't gone that far. 
Oh, okay. When we That's go good to, to know. Indio, we like to go to the Springs. I think it's called Silver Springs Casino or Springs, whatever. And that's where we go. It's like right down the street from that, the Indio, the Worldmark Indio. Right. It's right down the street. It's not that far. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. I got to tell Greg. So you, instead of going into the Pachanga, just go around it and it'll take you to another. Yeah, just pass it. If you just pass the Pachanga. But you do make a right, right? To go into Pachanga. Okay, so, if you want to go to Pachanga, you'll make a ride into that parking lot. Right. But if you want to go and try the other casinos, go straight. Signs, just pass it. Just oh, pass, pass the. Oh, okay, pass the. Keep Pachanga. driving, and then I'll take you around the bend. You might even go around the. Um, there's like a little highway. You go yeah. around the little hills. Right. Outside, and there'll be other casinos. Oh, well, I'll tell Greg that maybe next time when we go, we can check it out. Have a good time. Just yeah. hop around, hop around, and then you can make your way back to Pachanga. Right. Hang there. And you can stay there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you. And if anybody else knows that, they heard that too. <laughs> That's good to know. Yeah, I had no idea. It's a lot of fun. And I haven't been to Vegas since when Lance okay. and I got married. I was my first, my last time there was 2002. Everybody's like, oh my God, you haven't been to Vegas? I'm like, no. Um, we have all these Indian casinos that are driving distance just a couple hours right. away. And you can come home the same day. Right. <laughs> well, I'm going to try that next time. That's true. That's true. We're only three hours from Long Beach, three to three, three. Isn't Remember in Vegas yeah. back in the 90s when we used to have to collect the coins? When the coins would drop out of the machine. Oh, so yeah. Those were the old days. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Now it's like a little ticket. Walked around with your buckets. <laughs> I'm a winner. <laughs> the kids, young kids right now don't even know that ever existed. Their hands would get all dirty from the coins. And then they used to go, Tch. remember they would turn them over? Tch. Yeah. A long time ago. A long time, time ago. That was fun. To hear you used to be able to go to, you go to sleep at night and you would hear the buckets and the noise in yeah. your head yeah Not many years ago good old days right the indian casinos were the ones that had the tickets i think that's when it got adopted because that's when i used to go to pachanga uh -huh. back in the day they had the tickets so big change right mm -hmm. okay so we do, this time i recorded my sister and I did about two weeks ago, <laughs> talked, had a great conversation. We got off. I go upstairs, take to my husband because I'm terrible on technology. My husband goes, well, where's the, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Where is it? He goes, you didn't record it. <laughs> it's recording. That's good. So are we going to be doing this next week or are you guys going to Dodger? Um, so next week, <coughs> Greg had a, oh my God. So Greg had an audition this morning for a commercial. So next week, I don't know if he's going to get it, but I'm kind of concerned because it said the week, if he gets the commercial, I think it's a commercial. Um, it's during that, during next week. But right now we're supposed to be at the Angels game next sunday and mondays at universal studios where are you staying? huh where are you staying i don't know where we, i think it's not going to be in a great place because everything's booked um we got new furniture so you can always stay at the, uh, here we have a brand new couch we should have a brand new love seat coming in shortly show your furniture before we leave i have to get all the towels off because oh to okay Next time, furniture next time. Ne next time. When I get the whole set. Okay. Yeah. We'll do it next time. So I want to tell everybody if you guys like our channel, <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> that was a good laugh today when we talked about it. Yes, we food. did. And if you'd like to see more of this, subscribe. Um, it all started with my sister. She's the one that my sister's been wanting. She's been watching YouTube for how long? Woo! Religious, like like just watching you for many for about five six years now. Five or six Even years. Longer. 2013, I would there say. There you go. Yeah. And I used to say, "What's YouTube? What's YouTube?" So I just started <laughs> maybe a year ago. I'm still finding things that I like to watch, like I said before. But 
I thought, why not? What I got to lose. So I, I hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope you're enjoying what we're giving to you guys. I hope you learning from it, having fun with it. I'm having fun. <laughs> you're having fun. So we're, my sister and I were trying to do it like once a week, but I think next week won't be able to do it unless I do it on a zoom on my phone and it won't be that good. So we'll do it the following, I think the following Monday. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. And I'll, I'll let you know, but we're going to, we'll have Lance come on and you, him sit there and then we'll, we'll talk about some stuff. Okay. All right. All right. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Let's hope I turn this off nicely. Okay. All right. Bye everyone. Bye. Bye. Stop. I didn't record after all that. It's on. And it's recording. Right. But where is it going when I, I hit stop? Know. Let me hit end. End. And I put leave meeting.